Leslie Zo, the past two nights at the DNC, Maryland has been represented on the national stage. But tonight it was Governor Wes Moore. Last night it was Maryland's Democratic nominee for Senate, Angela Also Brooks. I spoke with her earlier, and here's what she had to say about being able to speak with voters from a national platform. I wanted to mention, you know, obviously you have a tight Senate race coming up in the fall against former Maryland Governor uh, Larry Hogan. How important was it for you to connect with not only, you know, Democratic voters, but the undecided voters who may have been watching the DNC? This is a, it is going to be a, a tight race, I think, for all of us uh, at a time where we recognize that the two visions that the, that our parties have couldn't be more different. We also want to be able to talk to people who are independents and others who are making decisions um, about so many important issues, uh, our freedoms, voting rights, uh, the climate. We're think talking about gun violence, talking about a woman's right to choose. There are many issues that are at stake in this election. Um, and so having the opportunity to talk to a broader audience was quite a, it was a real opportunity. I also spoke with Ravi Perry, professor of political science at Howard University. He says having Maryland get so much time in the spotlight could prove to be politically beneficial. Of course, it's going to be uh, symbolic for us uh, to hear from the only nation's black governor uh, in Westmore. And for those of us here in the DMV, of course, uh, we are familiar with uh, Governor Moore. Uh, but most of the rest of the country may not be as familiar. And so it gives him an opportunity to, to shine a light on the, the state of Maryland and, and, and what uh, Democratic leadership in Maryland uh, has done uh, in changing some of the scope of uh, issues that matter uh, for Democrats here in the Washington Beltway. Of course, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz making his debut as the vice presidential nominee, finally getting the chance to demonstrate why he was chosen for the top job. And I wanted to note CBS News released new polling tonight. In fact, 60% of Democrats say they are enthusiastic about the selection of Walls, and almost all say they are at least satisfied. Zoe and Leslie, back to you.